Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nibir Bomani and welcome to The Prophetess. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I am a psychic medium. I have the ability to walk through realms here in the physical realm and the 5D and uh, receive information and bring it back to you guys, okay? Um, I'm also a six-time published author as well as a spiritual life coach, so check me out if you want to, right? So this is going to be a very specific message as I always say. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been back, welcome back, girl or guy, whoever, okay? Um, but this is going to be a specific message, all right? So let's get into it. And please discern with your own spirit if it's for you, okay? Don't just try to take things and be like, oh, that's for me, that's for me. I would never want you to do that. Discern with your spirit, discern with God, discern if this message is even for you at all, if if what I'm saying speaks to you, if, if what I'm saying is true for you, okay? Don't just take my word for it, all right? So there's somebody in the collective that is supposed to write a book. You're supposed to write a book, child. You're supposed to write a book. It's a book about something that you have innate knowledge on, like spirit gave you this knowledge <laughs> can't nobody find this knowledge in no other book okay this is something that has a signature on it it has your signature on it all right you're gonna be styling and profiling with this book all right for some of you guys you've been looking for oh what's my purpose what's my purpose what am i supposed to be doing child you're supposed to be writing you're supposed to be writing in books some of you got the the, the gift of gab all right you can talk your ass off but also you can translate those things onto paper. You can write like a, you can write, you can write a storybook. You can provoke emotions. You, you have the, um, the gift of teaching as well, but through words, like you can put words onto paper and, 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 and make a whole movie out of it. And people will see and imagine through your words, what is actually happening. You can captivate a scene through your words. Okay. You can provoke emotion through your words. All right, and some of you guys have been getting the downloads to write a book. <laughs> um, and some of you guys' friends could even be telling you, hey, write a book, write a book, write a book. But for some of you guys, you struggle with fear. You struggle with uh, the unknown. You struggle with, oh, is this going to be good enough? Or am I tripping? Yeah. No, you're not tripping. You're being told to write this book for a reason. This book is going to awaken not only the collective at large, but it's going to awaken something in you. It's going to initiate you in a way, unlock something inside of you, okay? Um, there's been a part of you, and again, I'm speaking to someone very specific. There's been a part of you that's been very dormant, feeling very lazy, feeling very out of sorts, maybe lethargic it's because new information is is piling through you is processing through your you going through upgrades you could even feel very tired very exhausted um a lot of times when i channel i can feel the feelings of the person that i'm talking to of the collective i'm talking to so i'm feeling very winded and i'm feeling very out of breath and i'm feeling very out of sorts and this is because somebody is feeling this right now it's almost like Every time you think about doing this, knowing that you should do it, you feel a sense of anxiety and anxiety kind of cuts your breath off, okay? If that makes sense, okay? So it's the fear, though, that's sitting on you, is eating on you. For some of you, um, I'm hearing something about the solar plexus. The solar plexus, which is right here, could be hurting. You could have gastrointestinal pain or what you think is gastrointestinal pain, but really it's your solar plexus firing because you're you're not confident in the decision you need to make and you are um, you need to be creative and you're not processing processing that creative energy. Okay. For some of you I'm hearing something about <laughs> something about being a tyrant. Okay. Um, let's look up the meaning of tyrant just for educational purposes. Okay. Because I want to see what how that applies to this message. Okay. It says tyrants. All right. Uh, a dictator. <laughs> an authoritarian. An oppressor. Okay. So for some of you, this makes sense because you're oppressing yourself from being the greatest version of yourselves, if that makes sense. It also says authoritarian. Okay. So what I'm getting from that is that 
some of you guys are thinking that you know better than source knows all right then spirit knows okay so it's like you're getting these downloads from spirit that you need to write this book you need to put this out that it's going to be successful but you're suppressing your own self for fear of failure for for fear of not doing it correctly also there's some of you in the collective that has had like not such a good support system through your entire life so you don't necessarily have the best outlook on your own successes and like moving towards the things that you so desire and having confidence because nobody has ever spoke life into you before okay so it's kind of hard for you to believe what you're hearing what you're feeling because them feelings are bubbling up child them they, they, they just bubbling up they they on top of you they smothering you practically because the spirit is trying to wake you up to do this thing because it's very important all right it's going to set you free for some of you guys in the collective you have been in a state of like um where you want to move away from the job that you're doing now and you want to have more of like a lenient position like something that's like less strenuous is what i will say and you don't even know that this book is going to set you free but i feel like you feel it in your heart right we always know we always know we can always feel it we are all knowing we always know when something is for us but it is our past experiences that we allow to ransack our mind and ruin um the progress in which we know we should make okay you're like in an analysis paralysis type of vibe you're kind of just sitting still with the information but you're not really moving on it but you know you're gonna be successful at it you can feel it you know what this is what i always say to my clients right whenever you feel extremely fearful of something like doing something new it's because it's for you that that fear is going to act as like a pressure okay and instead of giving into the fear and not doing what it is that you want to do because of fear you should allow that fear to be your motivator okay in my first book mindset crisis i talk about how we need to redefine what fear is because fear has the meaning a negative connotation to it right and this is because of matrix teaching this is because society has taught us that fear is a negative thing but at any given time you can redefine what fear means to you okay so again if it helps and it always does look at fear as a motivator whenever you start to feel an itch whenever you start to feel that that pressure on your chest use it to push harder use it to uh, what is it what is it what's the word feel the fear and do it anyway that's what I always say use that fear to propel you forward if you do it scared it's gonna be even more worthwhile when you're done with it okay for the person in the collective who needs to write this book this book is gonna be very successful it's going to be something that comes straight from source that put on paper and it's going to be an original piece of work nobody has ever seen before okay so if this is you and you have an original idea or you need to go meditate some of you guys need to fast because you need to receive information to write this book okay um and you need to be clean you need to be clear you need to stop drinking you need to stop smoking you need to stop doing whatever it is eating bad foods because this book is going to make you a millionaire. This book is going to make you um, a very well-known, okay? It's something about a concept that nobody, nobody's ever heard before. Or maybe you're redefining a concept or you're speaking about something that people can learn about, but you're speaking about it in a way that nobody has ever heard anyone speak about it before. So, again, I don't know who this is for, but the spirit wants you to go ahead and move on it. Stop wasting time. Stop procrastinating, okay? Okay. Um, your future is in this book okay you don't have to worry about bills you don't got to worry about nothing else because once you should once you secure this this book and you do what's necessary the spirit will provide everything else and also too, you know if we take two steps forwards the spirit moves with us <laughs> okay so 
All you got to do is take a step. Just take a step and the spirit will assist you in the rest of the way. All right. But do something. Don't stay stagnant. Do something.